new videos every day. Hey, it's Dina, and we're back with a couple high intensity interval training moves. They're gonna burn cardio fast during and after your workout. So all you need is yourself. We're gonna start with a little warm up. I'm gonna go ahead and time it for about two minutes. And here we go, give me a few high knees. You wanna make sure that knee is coming parallel to the floor and that quadricep is parallel, just like this. Make sure you're breathing in, through your nose out through your mouth. That back is straight, shoulders are in line with your hips, in line with your heels. And right now, step it up to a little high knees. Add a little bit more intensity. You wanna be landing softly on the balls of your feet. If you're in a house, you shouldn't be able to hear yourself. You shouldn't be able to hear stomp, stomp. You wanna be light. Go ahead and switch to some butt kicks. Make sure to breathe. Arms are loose at your sides. 10 more seconds right here. Want to kick your butt each time. Kick it. Five, four, three, two. Get into some jumping jacks. All the way up, all the way down. You can always scale this. If you're a beginner, then go one leg at a time. But this is your second or third workout. I want you to try amping it up just a little bit. 10 more seconds of jumping jacks. Should feel that heart re heartbeat start to raise. And back to high knees. Make sure to breathe. Your heartbeat's starting to raise. Your muscles are getting warm. Getting ready for that nice workout. If you wanna burn calories, you need to work for it. All right. A little bit of dynamic stretching, loose. Don't stop now. Just hug yourself. Give yourself a nice hug. Five more seconds. Three and one. Here we go with our workout. Our first move will be something called up and overs. So get into an inverted V position on your mat. Take your feet out to your right. Bend your knees, and you're gonna hop over just a couple feet. I would say two and a half to three and a half feet. And we're gonna do that for one minute. Three, two, one. Here we go, up and over. You can always scale it down a little bit and go up and over. If your knees are hurting, or you've had back problems, scale it down. Otherwise, 30 more seconds. If you wanna make sure your shoulders are over your wrists and you're breathing. Remember, you can always scale it back, but just keep moving. Keep those feet moving. Even when your mat messes up, keep moving. And give me 10 more seconds right here. Five, two, and one. All right, great job. We're gonna take a 20 second break. And we're gonna stretch out our right arm, take it out in front of you and grab over the elbow. Gaze over your shoulder and breathe. Keep your feet moving and take your left arm out and grab under the shoulder. Gaze over the left shoulder. All right, here we go. Our next move is a jump kick. So right leg first, jump and kick with the left. Switch, lift the leg and kick with the right leg. So you're just alternating legs. We're gonna do this for one minute. Take breaks as you need breaks, drink water as you need water, but we're gonna go.
You wanna make sure you're light on your feet and your core is engaged. Try to get a little bit of height. But your scaling option is of course, keeping your leg stationary and not jumping. If you wanna be soft on those knees or that lower back. Or take it up a notch and kick and kick. Breathe in, exhale, breathe in and exhale. Or just keep kicking, whatever's right for you, but try to push yourself. Come on, we got 15 more seconds. Five more seconds. Give me two more and one. Okay. Take your right hand out, left arm on a chair, wall, or if you can balance and stretch out your legs. Give those quads a nice stretch. You know you earned it. And take your left arm out and grab your left leg, making sure his knees pointed to the ground, knees are in close together. And get ready for our next move, which is a plank punch. So we're gonna get down on the ground. If you need a little cushion for your knees, if you're gonna do modified, that's fine. Or take it all the way up. You wanna make sure your core is tight. You're squeezing those glutes and your shoulders are over your wrists. And punch, punch. Three, two, one. Here we go. Just one minute like this. You can always drop down to your knees, but try not to sway your hips up like this. Try to keep your hips facing the ground. Make sure to breathe. Remember you can always modify with having your knees, but make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists and that you're not going up like this. That makes it easy. We still wanna make it a challenge. Come on, you're over halfway done. You guys got it. If you like this, if this is making you sweat, go ahead and leave a comment or give me a thumbs up or both. All right, 10 seconds left. You can do anything for 10 seconds. And five, keep that core tight. Three, squeeze those glutes. And one more each side. Here we go. All right, here we go for a little stretch. Back down in a child's pose and stretch out your arms. Making sure to breathe. You should feel this in your outer arms, in your shoulders. Now come back up. And we're about ready for our last two exercises. Here we go. I want you to have quick feet. I'll give you a little demonstration. You're going like this, you're real low. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds because I know it's not fun. Here we go. Fast feet. Get low. There's no substitutions for this. There's no modifications. Just speed it up, amp it up. This is the last minute of your workout. Earn it. Over halfway there. Come on, get lower. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, our last move is gonna be a little squat jump. You wanna make sure your knees are a little bit at hip width apart. Squat down to parallel position and jump up and land softly back into that squat. I don't want you stopping here and coming back down. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds, as many reps as possible. Let's go three, two, and one. Squat and jump. Remember, you can always modify this. You can always just take it up and down if those knees are hurting. Otherwise, give me what you got. 
Come on, your last 15 seconds right here. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna take a little cool down. You should be feeling good. So take your left leg out and lean backwards. Lean back into that hip, stretching your hamstrings. Lift up your toe. And then grab with your opposite arm. And then switch. Lean back into that hip. Making sure you feel that stretch in your hamstring. Lift your toe up and then grab your opposite arm. If you feel like you got a good little workout, then go ahead and leave me a comment and there will be more to come. Thanks. And go eat something healthy, drink some water and hydrate.